Okay, the first thing we're going to do when we make crepes is look after the whipping cream. That's the most important feature of the crepes. And what I like to do is add a little sugar, not icing sugar, but real sugar. It helps the process. Okay, let me get the beater out. This one is quite noisy, but it does a good job. cream to the consistency we like. If we whip it too much beyond this you'll end up making butter but uh, we just want the whipped cream. And if you could tell it likes to hang on to things. Take them out and of course if you got any children in the house they love licking these. So we're going to clean them off and we're going to go with making the uh, dough for the uh, Okay, so today we're going to use four eggs. It's a little bit of a reduced recipe, but it's quicker that way. Now we got the eggs in here. The next thing we're going to do is add sugar because it helps the process. A couple of tablespoons or three depending on the size of the recipe and we're good. Now comes the hard part. We gotta beat them. And we beat them till the eggs get quite fluffy and then we add the rest of the ingredients. See the four eggs have grown quite a bit. We're going to grow them a little more and then we're going to put the rest of the ingredients in. Now we almost got a third of a bowl out of four eggs, which is phenomenal. <laughs> now we're going to add some flour. Probably need about a cup and a half of white flour. The next thing we're going to add is milk because we need a certain consistency, otherwise, this doesn't turn out to be crepes. Tablespoon is good. Okay, now we're going to let this sit a bit because uh, the flour will absorb a lot of the liquid, and we have to add more liquid as we go. And while we're waiting for this to get to the right consistency. We're going to make some uh, 
caramel sauce. Okay, in this process with the eggs, the, the key to making good crepes is you have to fluff the eggs up. And that's where the sugar comes in handy when you add it. And uh, it just grows. And as you saw, we ended up with four eggs that looked like a third of a bowl full of eggs. The key to the caramel sauce, you got to add enough sugar that it isn't oily when you're finished making it. Sometimes you got to add a little more butter, you, it all works out. Usually three, maybe four tablespoons of butter, depending on how much you want to make. And then you add the sugar to it. And if you look at here, I got to put a little more sugar in because there's quite a bit of oil. You can see the oil floating on the edges. really good about this, whatever the caramel sauce you don't use, you can put it on a piece of uh, saran wrap or tin foil, stick it in the fridge for an hour or so and you have candy that your grandkids just love to eat. You're starting to get down to a good consistency, we just got to get it a little more liquefied. The other thing you can do, you can add like uh, orange juice or squeeze oranges into it and make orange caramel, whatever, uh, different flavors for different palates, but it's good. Being that we used all the orange juice at breakfast time, now all I got is apple juice, so I'm going to put a little bit in and uh, it enhances the flavor. Makes it pour a lot easier too. And heat control is very important. If you get it too hot, you'll burn it. I guess that's one way of having burned offerings, but it doesn't taste good. Okay, now we're gonna let this sit and sort of. Uh, cool off a bit and we're going to deal with the crepe dough. Okay, now I do have a crepe pan, but I find this pan easier to deal with when I'm making crepes because it doesn't splash over the side. So I'm going to put this one back. Turn it on. Now we're going to put some butter on it. I like to cook with butter, it gives sort of a, a very natural flavor. Eat this. Now, this is still a little thick. So we're going to add some more milk to it. Here comes the tricky part. That's why I like this the pan with the higher sides. You can sort of roll it around till you get it all over the pan and make a nice round one. Crepes are supposed to be quite thin. And here again, heat control is very important. Uh, if it's too hot, then again, you end up burning it. Different ways of flipping it, but always use the easy way. Oop, that one sort of folded under the wrong way, but it's repairable. Now, the first crepe you make always has a little too much whatever butter and you got to adjust the heat right so that it goes good. Now 
Now the key is to loosen it off the side so you can slide your spatula underneath and flip it. Now, I like my crepes with strawberries, caramel sauce and whipped cream, but everybody has a different palate and some like to uh, stuff it with other things. That one flipped quite perfect. Always check your batter, make sure because this the flour really likes liquid. And gotta be a good consistency to make a thing great. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put some strawberries on here. And then here comes the best part. The caramel sauce. Then what we do, we're going to roll them up. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Now the best part of all this is the whipped cream. And I think the crepe's a little warm, that's why the cream is sliding. We've got the crepes that Walter made for us. And here's our cheese. And oh, no. raisins. Okay, raisins. Yeah. So Violet's yeah. adding raisins. And uh, we can add lemon juice. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mix it up nice. Yeah. Uh, one spoon. Approximately one yeah. spoon. Yeah. Big spoon. Yeah. And roll it. And now, yeah. after we've rolled a whole bunch, you either bake them or you put them in the pan and you fry them with a little bit of butter, yeah. right? And then you can put strawberries on them or you can put any type of fruit. Any honey, any fruit, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. any sour cream. Okay. Sour cream, you have yeah. to have sour, sour cream, cream, I think, Smetana. yes. Smetana. Smetana, yeah. yeah. So we're just gonna get, okay, so we've got the crepes ready. We've put our uh, cheese in our crepes that Walter made for us and uh, we're frying them up. And once we've got them fried, we'll mm -hmm. put them up on the table. Mm -hmm. You can fry them or you can put them oh, in the oh, oven. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, no. 
go. We're just gonna get this ready now and have our lunch. We'll see you at lunch. Well, here we are and it's been a long day. These are long nights because it is end of April today and it's been a long day, but it's gonna be a tasty day, we can see. We've got our crepes here with the homemade cheese. We've got our three different types of cabbage rolls or hollow cheese. And we even have a few pierogies that we've got in the oven that we're gonna throw on the table just before we eat. So Stevie, again, thank you so much for doing the filming for us. You're just a real blessing and uh, you do an awesome, great job, including your opera singing. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Vala, thank you for coming from Ukraine and, and teaching us. And sorry if um, some people might be a little frustrated with the language change, but we are just doing our best. And uh, sometimes it's good to hear another language because languages are good, right? And sure. Walter, thank you once again for your crepes. When people come over, they always want Walter's crepes. <laughs> so we're glad that you joined us today. So, so bless this food, so much noha, and thank you. Okay, here's Walter eating strawberries. The strawberry with whipped cream and crepe car and, and caramel sauce. Oh, and he lots made. of whipped cream. And lots of calories. <laughs> Looks good. <laughs>